few other things I've noticed now, when the load is on you get that sort of a light bulb uh, effect and I turned it off now, see it's gone now. So you know the load is on when you get the, that sort of hash around the, the bulb. Uh, if you look here at the parameter range you would say to yourself you can adjust the float over discharge recovery and over discharge voltage, a long range there, but it's got a uh, auto then. But here then it says, note, set the cell voltage to the flooded gel seal type. The charging parameters cannot be set. So that says to me, when you select uh, any of those three, the parameters are set and you can't adjust it as uh, as shown here you cannot adjust you have to go by the default setting another item now that i think i just wonder is this correct it says that if you go for user or lithium iron it gives the impression that for equalizing and boost you can set it yourself but when you go for floating low voltage reconnect or low fully disconnect it says defined by gel now what I found in user I can change those three but I cannot change neither do I know what the setting is for equalizing or boost uh, so I have to assume which is a dangerous word that the equalizing and boost are like the gel 14.2 Hopefully at some stage I'll be able to prove that. So I would think those two maybe should be defined by gel and these three um, you can set yourself. That's my own view of it now. After having a bit more time with this now and looking at it, but also if you're in settings and you want to get out of it, if you hold the uh, escape button it'll come out of it. Now in settings press and hold down until you see a symbol there see that set and when that's there I'm in user now and if I press again now I can adjust with the up and down key the uh, settings when well, I want to keep the boost at 13.8 once you're happy then you just go over to the next one I could come down or up. I think I'll keep it at 12.4 and then you go to the next one and I'm happy with that. Now according to the manual if you leave it for a certain time it'll uh, come out itself but I'm going to press and hold yeah. escape and uh, yeah. That seems to be more or less all the functions that uh, the controller has. I suppose we need to have a look inside but I have to be honest, uh, I might as well be looking at the the back end of a double decker bus than looking at this lot. It's as much as I know about it, but I take it that this inductor coil are always talking about for MPPT. You know, they're capacitors, or so that's a 35 volt, is that a thousand microfarads? And there's a number and a make of this panel. Cohen, I don't know what the other thing is, but that's the, the name on it. Yeah. I'm not disconnecting that ribbon thing there because anytime I go at anything like that I'll damage it. So I've learned my lesson. This is what I could do with a magnifying glass. Does that say 40? I'm not so sure. Yeah, so that's it. I might try and get out that a button now for the escape while I'm at it. Oh yeah, so I was looking to see underneath as if is there a what they call them Mos MOSFETs is it? So I take it that's them there with that uh, oh I forget what they call that stuff that uh, transmits the heat to the the heat sink. Well, it looks to be them there. That's the other side like yeah, yeah 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 I hope somebody knows what all that is. There seem to be pads to keep it up, is it? Where's the control? It was the brains. 
Maybe that's the brains there. Again, I need to. Uh, I need a magnifying glass for that. There is something written on it, but I can't make it out. It means nothing to me anyway. Right, I'm going to test the pump. Now I have it way down with a, a sandbag there just to keep it down. And I have a temporary bit of hose to sort of mimic similar what would happen on the boat. So I should have a bit of head and another sandbag holding that down. I have the battery tucked in out, out of the way from any splashes and I've just rigged up a temporary connection now to the load and I'm going to check to see if I can see what the instantaneous startup amps are and I just have a small makeshift on off switch uh, to simulate the float and we'll see. Now this pump is something like a 1300 gallons per minute, US gallons per minute. It'll empty this bucket very fast so I won't get long running. Okay here we go. Small battery cause the voltage will go down quick. Oh, it's gone already. Yeah. Fill again. Seems to work okay. I must have a look over what the starting amps were on the, the video. Yeah, seems to work. Um, I did try the uh, standard PWM controller for the pump. This this is a spare of the one that was fitted on the boat originally, and um, it's supposed to have a 10 amp loading, but it wouldn't work like the previous one. Uh, the pump would just try to start and stop uh, immediately, so this unit cannot carry the, the load of the, the pump. But this one now is able to uh, carry the pump load. I was seeing uh, at something like 4, 4.5 amps uh, running and I thought at one stage I saw something over 7 amps. There again, maybe my uh, clip-on ammeter uh, isn't quick enough to see the instantaneous loading. Certainly this one, which is rated for 10 amps, couldn't do it. It's overcast. And it's going to be for the week, so I just have a 100 watt folding panel here now, just to see if I can... Uh, anything. Maybe there, 24. She seems to be increasing whatever small amps there are, but at least it's working. Yeah, yeah, it could be a week before we see you read the sun, so I'd have to run with this. But she seems to do, be doing the tracking. I had a comment on, on the first video, part one, um, about the fact that a motor inductive load uh, you can get the back emf that can damage uh, electronics um been many years since i was in technical college but yeah i do sort of remember about the emf you know the magnetic fields and collapsing magnetic fields and flux so you can get a, a when the motor will be stopping or slowing down the magnetic field will be collapsing and you can get a, a a sort of reverse uh, voltage spike, just instantaneous, a short one. That could damage uh, components within this. Um, back EMF, as it? Uh, electromotive force. So uh, you can see his comments in the, um, in the first video, and uh, I'm glad he alerted me to it, because uh, it's a long time, as I said, since I was thinking about anything like that. And his recommendation is to put a... Uh, a diode uh, across positive and negative of the uh, of the motor uh, i think there's a parallel with it i might actually in fact join it in here um with the uh with with the power going to the to the pump 
um, I know it's reverse, you put it reverse diode, um, uh, you would be blocking the, uh, I think it's the cathode will go to the positive and the anode to the negative so that if when the pump is slowing down you'll get the back EMF coming up the negative and crossing over back down the, the positive cable to the motor and you'll create a bit of a short circuit, uh, circuit there for a, a short while and prevent any damage to this but I, I just checked the uh, continuity there now and it, it is a uh, common negative between the two so perhaps the battery could also act like a bit of accumulator for any spikes I have uh, a few uh, shocky, shocky diodes some are stored away I'll have to find them um, so I'll put one of them in I think it's a good idea so uh, uh, I'm glad he alerted me to it price wise this cost me 40 euros from Amazon um, there was a discount on it well uh, since it's overcast and it looks like it's going to be overcast for the week I'm going to just try and, and try and is that, what's the word assimilate um, solar coming in right I have this set up now uh, 17 volts 5 amps and on and we just see what's happening here now Saying that's a hundred percent full, I just will she go up to the fourteen point two. But if she's boosting up to, uh, if she's bulking up to fourteen point two, I'd expect a bit more coming in there. Right, uh, I'm drawing a bit of a load off it now, and uh, I'm going to connect in now the uh, the power supply and see what happens. We're uh, yeah, yeah, we're uh, it's more like it now. Two point six amps coming in, three point three going into the battery. That's a good boost. Now what I'm going to do next now is leave that go, and see what is the boost voltage and the equalizing voltage. Uh, she's she's ramping down the amperage now. I don't know whether this battery hundred percent has some controlling function on it, but I thought she would have used the. Uh, She'll be given current until she got up to the boost of 14.2, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. But she's certainly ramping back. Holding at the 13.8, she's not going above it. And she's ramping back down the ampage going in. So it looks like, if you're under user, and probably lithium ion, it's going to stop at 13.8. So maybe, so maybe the parameters when they have a dash lines through for uh, equalizing and boost when they come to uh, use or not to have a so that probably means that you don't have equalizing or boost yeah I think that's what's happening here look yeah she's ramping it down all the time now and it sees the battery is 100% and that's what we were seeing earlier to prove that now what I might do is Shut things down and go over to uh, see lead acid and try again and see does that bring it up the boost voltage of whatever 14 point out. Yeah, that's definitely ramping that down to maintain a maximum of uh, 13.8. Right, I've set her now for uh, see lead acid and uh, I'm drawing a bit of power off again. And just to make sure, I did disconnect the power from the controller, just to make sure everything reset for that. And uh, shortly now I'm going to um, start put the power on again and see what she goes up to, what voltage. Now she's at 13.8. I definitely saw 14 volts, but she's ramping back again now. I wonder if this one it sees 100% on the battery, is that what's controlling it? she should be ramping up now i did see 14 volts but then she's come back to 13.8 so i don't know well we'll see what happens she's on sealed so according to sealed she should boost up to 14.4 and she should equalize to 14.6 and then come back to 13.8 
Right, she's uh, she's ramping it down now to maintain a max of 13.8 float. Um, and that's under the sealed. Under sealed she should be going up to 14.6 and then coming down to 13.8 but she's not doing it. So it doesn't matter whether you're in user or sealed, you're getting a maximum of 13.8 volts. And this thing up here is seeing it as 100%. Going in here. Yeah, you see it's 13.8, 12.6 and it recognises 10.6 for the sealed. But you can't do anything else. That's it. So now you can't find any uh, access to the boost or equalising. So that seems to be it. I'll leave it at that. Uh, if anything else comes up afterwards, I'll, I'll, I'll make an order of it. But that's as much as I can see now.